Hello, welcome back. This is Total OS today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. A quick look at something that could be for beginners if you have some patience and do a little bit of practice. It is Point Linux 3.0, of course, based off of Debian. I have to tell you, after testing this inside Windows 10, inside a virtual machine, and inside uh, Ubuntu 15.10 with a virtual machine. This is probably one of the best Linux distributions that, well, that Linux has to offer. Let me show you something real quick here. The system monitor, and even with the screen recorder running, less than 300 megabytes of RAM. Superb. Let's take a look at the um, website here. Of course, Point Linux based, it's, it's really all about speed, uh, stability, no eye candy, no fancy graphics, no fancy uh, fonts, and that's okay with me. There are two versions of this. You can download what I downloaded, the Mate version or Mate, XFCE, 32-bit or 64-bit. According to the website, the 32-bit is recommended, and that's what I downloaded. All right, two panels, one at the top and one at the bottom, of course, with the Mate based off a of GNOME 2 desktop environment. One of my favorite things, applets, notes, and new notes. Of course, you can add a weather applet and whatever you want. Again, very, very easy. I can delete that or remove this little applet. All right, I guess we can call this the start buttons, not really, but if you're coming from Windows, I guess we can call them the start buttons, sure. Accessories, graphics, internet. I, um, I installed, just to test, the Google Chrome and Opera, Office, LibreOffice by default, sound and video, I installed uh, Clementine, terrific music player, Kazam, Caden Live, Quad LeBay, uh, let's see, SM Player, and Voco Screen. I actually wanted to install Simple Screen Recorder, but it's not officially available for Point Linux. Uh, might be able to, you know, do it from source, but was not in the mood for that. I'm recording with Kazam. Hopefully, it will not crash. Of course, System Tools. I installed Bleachbit Places. You may have seen this before running Linux. Very easy. Nothing fancy here. And their system, of course, preferences. Let's see. Let's go to. Let's go to the control center. And let's go to Synaptic Package Manager. This is the main way. I, w I was going to say the only way, but not true. You can also install and delete software using the terminal. But this is probably one of the main ways to install and delete and upgrade. Point Linux, not really designed for beginners, but not that difficult to learn. Right click, and of course you can have different backgrounds. Again, this is based on stability and speed. You won't find a lot here in terms of options, but you can customize this the way that you want to. Again, very easy to do. The main reason I installed this was with uh, Kden Live, video editor. The latest one does not work, at least not for me. In the latest version of Kden Live with Ubuntu 15.10, freezes up, crashes. I gave up on it, but in Point Linux 3.0, it works perfectly, as well it should, because it's Debian based and it's based on stability versus cutting edge software. So I have to tell you, this is absolutely terrific. Definitely one of the best Linux operating systems that Linux has to offer. Check it out if you are familiar with Linux. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Let me know what you guys think. That's it. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.